Hey guys, so this is a great example of why using libraries is extremely helpful in version 5 of PineScript. So here on the ultimate pullback indicator, I noticed that um, the time filter wasn't working properly. I don't know how I missed this when um, publishing the version 3 of this script, but if I turn on the strategy version, which I haven't updated yet, and I turn on my time filter, um, so let's set it to... Um, 1600 to 1700. That will remove the 7 a.m. candle on my chart, which is this bar here. This bar closes at 7 a.m. And I wanted to test what it was like to remove that since that is when the Forex market spread gets here in Australia. If I turn use time session filter on, this is doing the opposite. It's actually only allowing the 7 a.m. candle to, to be traded. That's not what I want. The uh, filter is supposed to filter out uh, the time session to ignore trades. And so I screwed something up in this particular time session function. But the good news is, rather than change this code on the UPS and the UPI and have to copy and paste that code over, I can edit the code directly in the library, which is what I did here. So if I come down to the time filter section, this code here, all I had to do to fix this was change one little bit of code. This used to say equals false. Um, I had to get rid of this equals false. And then the script correctly ignores that time of day. So I haven't updated the UPS script. I thought I'd do that while recording so you guys can see the benefit of this in action. So I've updated my library. I've published it to the TradingView platform. It's a public library. It's now version two of this library. So what I need to do, and what I've already done with the UPI script, is change my version to two. So I'm gonna do that here on the UPS. Change this to two, save the script, hide the UPI, and there we go. Fixed on both scripts, just by updating the library. Really cool stuff here. This is a really great feature of PineScript version five. Um, you can see I have a little test trade here. Why? The reason why I'm playing around with this filter is because my bot, my auto trading bot, received a signal at the 6 a.m., 7 a.m. closed candle, but it couldn't execute on the signal. If I go over to MetaTrader here, it says uh, sell limit failed because the market is closed. So the market closes for a few minutes at 7 a.m. on this particular broker, and my order was not executed. And so I wanted to see how excluding this particular candle from my auto trading would affect my win rate. And then that's when I noticed that the time filter was broken. But anyway, it's fixed now. All I need to do is publish the script and update the ultimate pullback strategy. I'll just say here, fixed time session filter bug. I'll copy that and come down. I don't want to update the chart because this isn't a major update. And I'll just click publish new version. Done. There we go, we've fixed both scripts, and that's all I wanted to show you. Take care, I'll see you in the next video.